What's up guys, it's Beanman25 here, and today I'm just going to do a quick video on Mutant Blobs Attack. The game came out on the PSN store for Vita yesterday. It's a really fun platformer. I haven't played too many levels. I mean, I've played the same levels multiple times just because it's got a leaderboard thing to it, and I'm a big fan of those types of things. But uh, the game, I think it got 9 or 10 or 9 out of 10 on IGN, so I mean that's pretty good for a game like this, along with Super Stardust, they're two of the highest rated games on the Vita launch. I'll turn up the sound a bit. See there's six uh, things on the world map, I've only done two levels, I mean I really haven't even played that much of the game, but I love it so much. I'm just going to play level and tell you guys about it. Is it focused? I can't tell. Does, okay, there it is. As you see, you're kind of just a green blob. You grab stuff in this way. It's kind of like a Katamari, where you just grab stuff and grow in size. But uh, it's, like, really a fun game. I mean, there are different aspects to it. Like, when I jump, you jump with X. But you hit circle and you slam yourself down, which is useful to get through certain things, like cracks and things like that. I've played this level a bunch of times, but I'm not going to try and, like, rush through it or anything. I mean, I really do recommend this game to anyone who has a Vita, just because it's only $8, and it seems like it could... I mean, it's already given me a couple hours. I've played this level. Pff, I can't even count the amount of times I've played this level already, as sad as that is. Grab all the coins here. And we will jump over here to grab these coins. Hit my target size. I don't know if this blob has a name. I The cutscene at the start's nice. I mean, this game looks really, really nice on the screen. Over here, there's a... I don't mean to spoil the game, but... One of the little buddies is over there. And you collect those, I guess. It's like a secret to each level. And then over here, you'll see what I was just talking about. It's going to say tip. You have the ability to slam in the thing. See, so jump up and hit circle there. And there's another part over here. You have to slam back to get to it. Or I guess if you time it properly, you could just slam normally. But my timing's really horrible. So. Bunch of stuff to get over here. All those nuts and everything. Not ready to go over there yet. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's too much going on, but there really is. I mean, the second level was tougher. Uh, third level, I think I started it, but then died on something, but... I mean, I know I'm going to beat this game, and I'm really enjoying what I've played of it so far. And I probably would just play this level over and over again if I had to. If I had no other options. I, really, I mean, I say this every time, but the screen on the system is beautiful for a portable, so if you're really looking for a portable system, you really have to pick this up. I didn't catch the name of the uh, company that released this, but I'm going to have to give them the major props via email or something, man. This game is outstanding, honestly. Wow, that was bad. I'm gonna jump off this uh, can. I don't think I've got my best score. This is not a very good score, but what can you do? There's the other buddy over there. And the level's complete. I This might be a high score for me. I'm not sure. Sure, I'd like to connect to the PlayStation Network. Da, 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 da. 27,000. Online rank is 127. 
So as you can see, the game is a really fun platformer for this, and for the price, it's a definite buy, like must buy for anyone who has a Vita. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Maybe I'll do more of this game if you like it. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Add me on PSN. My tag is Let's Go Blues, no spaces. Thanks for watching.